And by the way, we do have an update on the condition of Paul Pelosi. He has been released from the hospital nearly a week after a brutal assault inside the couple's San Francisco home that you heard Hillary Clinton referring to. 82-year-old Pelosi is recovering from surgery to repair a skull fracture <clears throat> after he was hit over the head with a hammer by a man who invaded their home. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi released a statement yesterday reading in part this, Paul is grateful to the 911 operator, emergency responders, trauma care team, ICU staff, and the entire hospital medical staff for their excellent and compassionate life-saving treatment he received after the violent assault in our home. She added that her husband remains under doctor's care as he continues to progress, progress on a long recovery. Lawyers for the accused attacker, 42-year-old uh, David DePap, will be back in court today for a preliminary hearing. He faces a series of state and federal charges stemming from the attack. And Joe, back to what Hillary Clinton said, <clears throat> the fact that Republicans and many of them leaders in the party, not just Donald Trump Jr., but senators, members of Congress and other Republican leaders were joking about this right. and spreading conspiracy theories. I'm still sickened by it. I, I'm, our, our politics are, are truly broken. Well, the, the Republican Party's truly broken. It is. Let's just say what it In is. In pieces. They, they, they talk about uh, they're against crime and they're for the cops, unless, of course, it's the Speaker of the House's husband, who was hit over the head. Then they the governor spread, makes a punchline out of then, it. Then they spread lies. Uh, they, they make political punchlines out of it. Uh, the most powerful people in the world spread the most bizarre conspiracy theories about this poor man, 82-year-old man. I mean, come on, let's just talk about it. I mean, I'm just going to be really blunt. We all have parents. Uh, if you've got parents in their 80s and they fall, and they just fall, that's an emergency. And that's something that you're, you, you as, a, as a, a child are dealing with for the rest of your life. This guy, I say as a child, taking care of your yeah, parents he's and, in you're, great shape. and you're worried about it. Here's a guy who's in great shape, but he's 82 years old. He got brutally attacked. He got hit in the head. He, he had emergency surgery because of a fractured skull. And Republicans and the most powerful people in, in, in the world are making fun of this guy and spreading lies. This is, this is not our politics are broken. Let's stop saying our politics are broken. Well, the Republican Party is broken. Yes, but the MAGA right is broken. There is a sickness here. And, you know, I, yeah, Mitch McConnell spoke out about it, but uh, not many others spoke out about it, uh, Adrian. And, and you look at the clip of Nancy Pelosi after Steve Scalise. Yep. I got to say this. Cover the kids' ears. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit about, oh, but what about Steve Scalise? Nancy Pelosi was practically in tears after Steve Scalise was shot. And she said, we're all one family. There is no humanity in the Republican Party. No humanity at all. And this has proven it. Where, where are these people? Yeah. They're mocking who are, who Paul Pelosi. Them? By the way, the same people who in prime time mocked police officers who wept yep. about January the 6th. They want to support the blue unless the blue is trying to save American democracy against their most freakish supporters. They, they want to support law enforcement unless it's the FBI who's investigating corruption at the highest level within the Republican Party. It's select enforcement. They only support Madisonian democracy if their side wins. They only support law enforcement if their side gets a free pass. It is a sickness in the Republican Party. It is not a sickness in American politics.